Tim Cook of Apple. Where are you, Tim? He, he buys a few of these little chips. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's, a, he's a small customer here at this outfit. Between 25 and 35 percent of their... But anyway, uh, I hope they're treating you well. <laughs> and Sanjay of Micron. Sanjay has represented more than two dozen tech and manufacturing companies. And you're here because you're seeing what we're all seeing. America Manufacturing is back, folks. America Manufacturing is back. There's a strong sense from many, from all the world leaders, of the resiliency of the American economy. And uh, we're seeing it here at home with investments like the one we we're talking about today. What I'm most excited about is people are starting to feel a sense of optimism as they see the impact of the achievements in their own lives. It's going to accelerate in months ahead. And as part of the broad story about the economy we're building that works for everyone. Back in April 2021, I met with Mark and other industry leaders. TSMC had made a $12 billion investment here in Phoenix to build the first fab to make semiconductors in the United States. Now, the equipment is ready to move in. Next year, commercial operations are going to begin. And today, TSMC has announced a second major investment. They will construct a second fab here in Phoenix to build chips, the three nano chips, the three nano chip. Chips that are three nano. And you know what I'm saying. <laughs> nano, no, no. I don't know. But look, these are the most advanced semiconductor chips on the planet. The chips will power iPhones and MacBooks, as Tim Cook can attest. Apple had to buy all the advanced chips from overseas. Now they're going to bring more of their supply chain here home. It could be a game changer. All told, TSMC is investing $40 billion here in Arizona, the largest foreign investment in the history of this state. Over 10,000 construction jobs and 10,000 high-tech jobs will be created. And I want to thank everyone in this company for making this happen.